Oak, the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, is the most decorated military unit for its size and length of service. As the number of soldiers from that regiment dwindles, there's a new effort to honor them in a special way. KITV's Maleko McDonald has more. There's two words that I can use to describe the uh, 442nd uh, regimental combat team. The first is Americanism, the second is patriotism. Based on those two words and countless other accolades, there's a growing push to honor the 442nd with a postage stamp. A new campaign is called just that. They deserve a stamp. It urges a commemorative stamp to honor the Nisei Japanese American soldiers who fought in the U.S. military during World War II. I'm in a corner over there. That's you? Yeah, in the back, yeah, with the glasses on. <laughs> William Thompson was a member of that storied unit. We did the best we can, put out the best we can, uh, and the result uh, proved that you know, we were giving some tough assignments, and we came through with flying colors. You know. The Nisei soldiers fought bravely. They earned over 18,000 medals. 9,000 Purple Hearts, and 21 Medals of Honor in just two years of service. All the while, their families were relocated to internment camps. Now, we were classified enemy alien, and uh, we were American citizens. And that was, uh, we, we couldn't believe what had happened. Their homes were taken away. They had to Overnight, they just had to pack up their things in a suitcase, and they lost everything. There have been several different campaigns for stamps in the past, but none were successful. The goal is to get the attention of President Barack Obama, who wields authority over the U.S. Postal Service. Past presidents have pushed through similar stamps, including Ronald Reagan's push for Hispanic Americans, a proud heritage stamp in 1984. Our Garand rifle and the Tommy gun. That Thompson is turning 92 soon. He sees the number of his 442nd brothers dwindling and stresses it's important to remember the past so we don't make the same mistakes in the future. It would help, yes. After the uh, bombing of that trade center when President Bush told the Muslim population, we're not going to make the same mistake we did in World War II. To show people that, you know, Americanism uh, is something that pressures that we should protect you know, the rights of a citizen. The petition is seeking 100,000 signatures by March 18th. You can sign the petition at theydeserveastamp.org or visit our website for more information. Maleko McDonald, KITV Island News.